Hi everyone, I'm Bron Stuckey, International Liaison for the Quest Atlantis program and a consultant a researcher in games learning and virtual worlds. There are two things that excite me about games like Quest Atlantis as part of the 21st century learning agenda. The first of those is the opportunity for transformational play. Um, transformational play involves children coming in to solve authentic problems and taking on the knowledge and practices of a domain to do that. So for instance, in our water quality park, the Tiger, children don't come in as a grade seven student, but as a water quality scientist. And they have to take on the practices of the field to solve the problems in the world. And they go out and learn what they need to know to help solve the problem. At the conclusion of their uh, research, they will make a decision. And that decision then will have repercussions in the virtual world. So the learning not only transforms the virtual world, but we hope transforms the students as they understand how knowledge is used and how learning benefits our real world. The second thing that excites me is the possibility for participatory design and that's giving the reins for learning over to the kids, allowing children to design their own spaces, their own games and their own practices. So for instance we have what we call the Student Congress in Quest Atlantis which is a space designed, developed and managed by children and they've designed all the games and missions and activities and chosen what's important for kids to know about in those spaces and we see children going way beyond our expectations in terms of their abilities as they uh, choose what it is they want to learn. So for instance uh, some small 10 year old students wanted to know how to render their own objects in the virtual world. They discovered they needed to use a program called Blender and then to use that they would need to know Python programming. So they found someone else in the student world and they now are teaching themselves how to program in Python to that end. So this is the kind of thing that I think is really exciting when teachers can almost just get out of the way and let the kids take over some aspects of their own learning. Um, it's sure to please. Thank you. Quest Atlantis is an online virtual world game played by children all across the world. If you'd like to join this program, and any of the activities that you see today, you're welcome to jump, jump into our website and get yourself an educator's account and begin exploring the program. You will need to train in how to use the program and as soon as your students have leveled up uh, to the level that you're going to see today, they too will be able to join in the Student Congress activity. So loads of fun to be had. Um, in this totally free program for school, so get in there and be part of it. Now let's meet some of the students who are part of our current Congress. These are our innovators, our first leaders in the program, the children who broke the ground for those that will follow, and they certainly have been having a lot of fun. I have always loved Quest Atlantis for its well-developed way of teaching through virtual worlds. So when an opportunity arose to help create a 100% student-made mission, I jumped on board. At first, I thought it was just about fun and seeing if a group of students could actually make a mission in the 3D virtual world. But, slowly, everyone in the group began to understand this was not something just done for fun of it. The lessons we began to create on healthy lifestyles became part of us. We created bike tracks, swimming pools, rooftop gardens, and a healthy food restaurant, all in Quest Atlantis. It was a dream come true. We just heard from David, one of our leaders in the Student Congress. And he's certainly been a delight to work with, even though he's in Canada and I'm in Australia. David's work has also taken him to a TEDx talk where he explains other virtues he's found in Quest Atlantis. And I think you'll find his talk really exciting if you take the time to go and visit his 
representative of the caliber of kids we have in our program. And on screen now you'll see what the amazing Carthy who worked with students in Florida to create a mission related to global warming and we'll see a little bit more of that later. Hi, I'm Team Crazy 71 and I'm S Crazy 71. We are brothers. We were part of a team in Student Congress. We had a lot of fun building and learning about healthy communities. We are glad we had the chance to work in Student Congress and learn how to make a mission. It was not easy, but it was a lot of fun. Thanks, Bron, and our teacher, teacher G. Holden, and Quest Atlantis for letting us do this. Hi. On Quest Atlantis, I am Team McCray 71. And I am part of the Student Congress build. I enjoyed being a part of the team. And it was fun building the dance floor and learning how to make the mission. Some of the stuff I'd like to show you are the rock climbing wall and also the dance floor. We'll get to the dance floor in a minute. It's actually pretty hard to get up this climb, rock climbing wall. Certain sides make it harder. Woohoo, I made it. One of the other things I'd like to show you is the dance floor. It was really fun making the dance floor. This is one of the things I wanted to show you because we made people singing and dancing over here. And up there there's a skydiving um, platform. You can use different dances and put on songs as well. Alright, now another thing I would like to show you is up here there's an area where you can get all the plants and food and stuff for the chef. and. Over now, what I wanted to show you also was I made two birds on a stand, and my brother also made one. One of them is just a thing for a treasure hunt, and one of them is a mover. Alright, see, it's a mover. I also wanted to show you that there are also some movers that are horses, cats, bicycles for this, and dogs, cats, and tav cats for walking. Me and my brother made little houses down underneath the ground. That is my brother's house, and this is my house. And the mover I have here actually, well, when it works, it has a uh, helmet on your guy's head. But apparently it's not working that well that right now. Oh, this one is. Oh. That's why. Gets ready. There we go. Yep, it works now. And then I've got a little up sign to make me teleport up. Or warp up. And then I can race around the world with the motorbike. I'm glad that Bron 
was able to get us to go in here and I'm glad I had the opportunity to be able to do this and if Brown's listening to this thank you Brown hello I am SMK71 and I'm going to show you one of my favorite parts of the build I worked on healthy communities it's at the very top of the mountain Here is one of my favorite parts of the build. We've got mover bicycles that you can ride and horses. Even a cat. Oops. There's a track you can ride your bike on. Like this. There's a track there. This part I made a little bit of. I also made another part which there's a big sign there it's a pool and you can jump in the small end or the deep end there's a high dive board and then you go up the high dive and uh, Jump into the water. This is a uh, garden at the top of our building. And here is one of the entrances. I'll go to the front entrance to make it easy. So here's the building. I enjoyed being part of the building team. I had a lot of fun building this place with the uh, their kids. Here's the restaurant. And there's the police officers with their dog. Zulu. And Officer Rob. Officer Tiffany. Officer Isaac. And Officer Rick. And then there's a bunch of other people as well. All eating a healthy food. And then, if we go upstairs, it's the dance floor. The dance floor is really fun. If you click one of the buttons, these are the song buttons, and these are the dance buttons. This is my favorite dance. Now, I'll show you how we get back to the garden. And here's the garden. Oh, hey. I think that's my parrot. Yep. I go invisible when I'm on him, so I'm just a parent. Oops. Um, I'm really glad that Bra I'm really glad that Braun asked us to be part of the building team we I had a lot of fun what you've just seen is um, totally built by the students in their small teams each taking on a topic related to one of the social commitments of Quest Atlantis so healthy communities was one of those and the boys built a mission that takes you through understanding why healthy eating is important and why physical activity, exercise, fresh air and being out in the world is also healthy for all of us. 
They focused quite a bit on the dance floor because we held a party to host our very first opening of the Student Congress. Because remember, students have to level up to get an account in this space and to be able to be part of the world. And so we hosted a party and lots of other students came in for a sneak peek of what this world was like. So the dance floor was pretty important in being able to jump in and um, join in lots and lots of fun activity uh, was a great hook to get other kids to want to be part of the Student Congress. Other missions were built in the world related to different topics. So for instance, here we see the um, First Nations Medicine Wheel, which was part of a build related to diversity. And this building is a, an expo on four levels with amazing resources related to all different kinds of diversity. Then we have a world related to global warming and we learn the story of global warming through the plight of the polar bear and her cub. And so positioned in um, a, an area where we can see pollution is somewhat of a problem, children go through an exercise to learn about those problems, those issues. We also have a group that worked on what they called the House of Passions, which was a space de devoted to children having a say about things they cared about. So speaking up against bullying, against um, hatred or um, prejudice of any form, and that was a really beautiful space. We certainly hope 2013 is going to be a very big year for our Student Congress as new kids bring their proposals for projects to the world. Thank you to all the children who have been part of this, and I hope you understand what fantastic expertise they brought and how much we spend our time just getting out of the way and supporting them.